So, today we are going to make paper dolls with big eyes. Because I get a lot of questions about how I make my girls with their ridiculously big eyes. So, first off, we're going to look for some straight on faces because I am better at straight on faces and we're going to look for some crazy little bodies. Okay, so way too small a face. We want a face about yay big. Side eyes. We want somebody with a straight on face. face is good, but she's kind of small. I want a bigger face for my eyeball girls. And I will probably look for my eyeball girls and then, okay, I've looked at her before. We're going to use her for a body. I'm going to cut her out for a body. Ooh, I kind of love her eyes, but they're shaded by that hat. Um, I, oh. What's on the back of this? Okay, I could try to play with this and mess with the hat and put her eyes in there. So maybe we'll try to cut her out. Okay, those are good big eyed girls. Okay, so what I'm looking for is where you can see her extra eye lid which is what I use. They're kind of straight ahead. They're slightly not straight ahead, but those should be good. I can cut out these other things. Maybe we'll put them on her. Those will be okay. Those are too tippy for me, right? Her one eye is behind her other eye. <laughs> I know I've been saying I'm not that advanced for four years now, three years now. Okay, she's not good eyes. So I need to cut off their eyes about here so her eye would have hair on it and it would look weird even though she's straight on and then she's a little squinty. I need somebody whose eyes are kind of wide open. That would be a good big eye, but I only have one and it's really big. Okay, her eyes are okay. Um, in a pinch, I would use them, but they're not, like, jumping out at me. Boop, boop, boop. And I have lots of magazines, so I don't have to be that picky. And I know I've gone through these magazines before, but I've already found, like, six faces I could use. Okay, her eyes could be really good, except they're not that different from this size, right? Like... If I wanted to put big eyed girls on this, she's just a body to me, right? I want a big head for her. I'm probably gonna go with a really giant head for her. But but the problem with, if you swap out her eyes for her eyes, they're about the same. So I do this a lot, about the same, not good. Not so good, I need bigger eyes. She has really beautiful eyes, but again, we can't see the side of her face. Okay. This girl has good eyes for us to try to play with. Let's see, are they bigger than hers? They are bigger than hers, so we're gonna pull these out. I don't know if that's my only girl. Okay, her eye is terrible because I would have to draw that whole thing. Her eyes are terrible because I would have to take the um, bangs out. I'm not good at fixing things. I go with the really easy peasy lemon squeezy version of making big eyes. Hi, honey. Kitty has feelings. Somebody told me today that she tells her kitty they have feelings. You're starting a kitty revolution. All the kitties will soon be telling their people they have feelings. Too little sideways. Man eyes. Sideways. Uh, we could probably use her face, but I don't love that her 
Knuckle is pushing up her thing. Too weird. Too hairy. Ooh, that's a fun body. So we're going to take this body. Because I'm going to make some paper dolls of these people, of course. Rosie the Riveter. That's kind of fun. I might take that. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. I need more big eyes. Ooh, those are good big eyes. Okay, these are good big eyes. The reason I say they're good big eyes is because they are a little blurry, but I can cut them down the middle. I can um, use their upper lids. They're both equal. We're going to use the big eyes here. These are, okay. So you might think, oh my gosh, those are such good big eyes. They're giant eyes. So think about the size of scale. If I were to put these eyes on this girl, they look big. If I were to put these eyes, they'd like take over her whole face. So we don't want giant crazy eyes. Um, this girl's face may be okay. I don't love what's happening with this eye. I feel like I would have to work on that eye too much. And for this, I'm just making some paper dolls of these girls. Um, we'll figure out what pages they go on later. That's kind of fun stuff in there, huh? I don't love putting on different mouths. I know some people do. It's just not my jam. I like messing with their eyes. Okay. Let's see, anybody else? And we've only been one, through one magazine and I've got like five picked out for us. I think I could use some more big eyes. Um, every once in a while, I will use black and white big eyes, but she's got a lot of hair, right? If I can find a black and white big eyes with um, no hair, I will do that to show you. Because you don't always need colored eyes because I'm gonna color them anyways, right? She has hair. You could do it, but it's a little bit weird and she got droopy eyes. Her eyes are sideways, so it could be fun. Like you could mess with her eyes, but I tend to like, like her eyes are sideways. I tend to like straight on eyes. These eyes would be truly fun to cut out and put on a different doll and put it like to where you just go, ew, what's going on? But not for this project. She has big legs, very long legs. A lot of hair, hairy eyes, turny head. Maybe 10 or 15 years in, I'll be ready for turny head. Right now, I'm just too, uh, I'm junior for turny head. I just, and there are enough girls in my books that I can do the regular way that I just don't mess with them. Turny head, giant eye. Okay, let's do a one eye. Cause I've done a one eye before. I like a one eye. They're kind of fun. I'm gonna show you all my eye tricks in one thing. Boop, boop, boop. We're just gonna cut out a whole bunch of girls. All right. She could be a good, I think I've seen her before. She would be a good body. She's good shape. Hands, side eye. So if you see somebody and you think side eye, don't do them because then you're gonna be fighting it. She's a good straight on face if you're doing something small. I tend to do really big heads and small bodies. So you can pick what you like. You could do a smaller head. She's a really nice shape. Big eye, but kind of a side eye, right? I need a straight on eye. I think I could use another medium face. I think I got some good eyes going. Cute legs. I don't use kids or babies. You could. Doesn't, doesn't bother me if you do. I just choose not to. I figure with what they, with a Newport ad, I gotta be going with March 2008, right? So, that baby's probably grown, but I just don't like to um, 
I don't like to use babies or kids. Personal preference. <laughs> I would use a baby in there because then the mom has made that choice, right? Right. Okay. But see, to use a little girl and make her look weird, it would just make me feel weird. So I don't do it. A lot of maternity. Okay. So this weird lady head would be okay because you could put big eyes on her. I might have pulled out... A bunch of the heads already, right? A bunch of the good heads. Oh, she kind of has. See how, okay, so this is the problem with this lady's eyes. Her head is definitely slightly turned. You can see her one ear and not her other ear. And everybody's eyes are different sizes, but because her head is turned, if you were to pull out her two different eyes, they look like they're from two different people, right? And on her face, they look amazing. But if you took them off her face and put them on another delightful face, now maybe we could use her face. I didn't even think of that. No, too big. Too big. But her eyes would just look really bizarro. Those eyes, uh, those are way advanced beyond me. Turned up side eyes. Try to be nice to yourself and pick things that are easy to do. Too hairy. Okay. Ooh, maybe some diversity? That'd be a shock. I would like that. I don't want to do all white girls, but sometimes there's no diversity. Okay, that's a little face. Too little. I need a face about as big as her whole head. I do try to have diversity in my... Oh, I love her outfit. I may do her body because I love her outfit. Oh, doggies want to come in. Slouchy girls. I don't like slouchy girls. My mother told me not to slouch all the time. Um, I could... I see this out a lot. I'm going to try and take out her eyeballs and see if I can do anything with them. We're going to have a little eyeball challenge. I feel like I need a couple more, like, faces. Normal sized faces. Not tiny faces, not big faces, not turny faces, just faces. And we're not gonna do weird people, we're just gonna do regular heads, regular bodies. Her head's too small. Her head's the right size, but it's turned and it's hairy. Feel like I just need one more and then we'll have a good sample for doing stuff tomorrow. I'm going to take these out and cut them tonight. Slouchy girls. My mom just hates slouchy girls and since she lives in my head, since I was 30, she's just like, oh, those girls are slouchy. Too small. Too sexy. I know an artist that I, I follow a lot, and she could, she could do all the sexy girls. I'm just trying to make weird-looking people. I don't need to do the sexy thing. Okay. Little small. Hmm. Let's see. I might have already scavenged these. Let's go to this one. Oh, Julia. This Julia is always a good sized. Oh, she's upside down. Okay. I really just need one more good head. I'm going to flip through here because I will be able to see. Too small. Perfect. Perfect girl. All right. I'm going to let you sit here through one more and after that I'm going to go find a couple things by myself. I think I've 
talked to you a bunch about the criteria I use. She would be the perfect size. I hardly ever use, see, I see this girl a lot. That's why I thought it would be fun to use her so you can see how, because she's in a lot of ads, right? I'm just trying to find the right size face. And if not, I will find them in my magazines and I will, oh, what was that? Little hard with the hair. Let's use her. I'm going to use her. What is her name? Sophia Loren. I've used Sophia for something else, but I'm going to use her for funky eyes. Okay. Oh, maybe we make her the one eye. No, she's see the one eye is too big. I need a really big, a bigger size for the one eye. Like this girl could have the one eye. This girl is probably the right size. You want her eye to kind of go between, but we'll do that tomorrow. Rovi the Rid Rosie the Riveter. Love this. We're gonna cut her face super sharp or she's gonna be some eyes. She's cute. She's cute, she's cute. Okay, so I'm gonna cut these out and I will be back. Okie dokie, we have a guest crafter lurking around. Betty is here. Betty the cat. But today I have these cut out and we're gonna make some paper dolls to show you how to make big eyes. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is find our snips. There they are. So the way that I make paper dolls is I cut out their necks. So on, so I haven't cut them all up yet. So I'm going to come in right here and cut along this necklace. So most people put their heads onto the people's necks. But I want my neck to go, I want to be able to chop my neck off at the right place. So we're going to come around here. Boop, boop, boop. And I do take my time on this part because this is going to help determine how like integrated she is into Sophia Loren's head. Okay. There we go. Oh, yeah, we got it. All right, let's move these guys over here for a wee minute. And I tried to get like four different kinds of things. Okay, so now we can put her on here right like that. And we're just gonna glue her on with some Nuvo. Nuvo's my favorite kind of magazine collage glue. And Sophia had her hand here, so there is kind of a little weird thing. But what you have to remember is we are going to be putting giant backward eyes on her, um, on her. So she's going to look weird no matter what we do, right? That's not, having Sophia not look weird is not our goal. Having her look real. So this is my whole, I like things to be physically you know, physically possible. Now it would be physically possible for her to have something like this. Can we move her down a tiny bit? I kind of feel like her neck is long. Let's see what we can do. Can we still take it off? Oh, we can still take it off. Okay. So let's make her neck a little as short as we can make it. There we go. It's a little less necky now. Okay, here we go. Now, we're going to let her dry for a wee minute, and we're going to take her eyes. And I like to use, so these are um, what I consider to be relatively normalized, right? They're bigger than Sophia's. So her eyes are only that big, and these are really big compared to that. And I'm trying to get it to kind of go, my line to go equally under the eyes, which is sort of a diagonal right there. And so then we're going to go across this top. We may save her eyebrows. We may not. I don't know yet. And then I cut off whatever part is hair on the person, and then I just mimic it. So it goes right to the edge of her eyebrow. So there's that. 
And we're gonna make sad eyes. So I like, this is what I call sad eyes. So we could put this across, right? That would be kind of cute. And if I were gonna put this across, I would do a couple things. I would cut off this hair because that makes it look weird. And I also try to match their nose. When I use their noses, I try to match their noses to the real people's noses. And I think that could make a cute paper doll, but I want Sophia to have sad eyes. And what I mean by sad eyes is I cut their eyes apart and then I flip them, okay? And so now their eyes are pointed down instead of pointed up, right? And so I like that look. So this eye has a lot of stuff under it. So I'm gonna cut that off. And this eye seems to have a lot of nose. She got all the nose. So we're gonna cut that off. Maybe cut a little bit more out from underneath her eye. And then this is just figuring out what you like the looks of, right? So I kind of like that look. I've tried cutting out their, out, out their eyes, um, but I don't like that. I'm going to get this right above her eyebrow. I don't want too much weird eyes in here. Ooh, that's a good eye right there. Okay, so we're gonna make this for sure one of her eyes. And I'm going to pick this up, hold it where I have it, and once I find a spot, I tend to like go, okay, I really like that one there. We'll figure out the other one based on this one, right? Okay. So now let's, oh, let's not glue down that other side until we figure out if it's going to be the top or the bottom. Okay. So do we want this light eye over here? Let's see. We want, uh, I feel like we still got a little bit of a lot of that on there. So maybe we put that one underneath. See, I think that one go, oh yeah. Okay, so that one goes underneath. Just a little glue, just a little dabble, do you? Okay, their eyebrows are about the same height, right? So that doesn't look too weird, I mean, comparatively. And then we're gonna glue this over here. And then we're gonna cut off this little bit of weird brown side hair that's sticking out, right? So that we don't need that now. And then I feel like we have an, still have a lot of nose and eyebrow over here, so I'm going to cut that off too. And do we need to glue this part? Nope. No. See, we didn't glue that part. This is how you wind up with stuff that's not glued down. That just got a little bit of glue from the other side. So now we have to glue this side of her eye. But see how much bigger these eyes are than her little eyes? That's what makes the big eyed girls look cute is they're just, their eyes are bigger than, they're like baby eyes, right? Like babies have huge eyes and little faces. That's just what we're doing with that. So we got this girl, we'll put her over here for a minute. All right, let's do, ooh, this is an advanced one. We're gonna do, let's do this one while we're still fresh. Okay, so this is an advanced eye because we don't have all of her eyes, right? We only have parts of her eyes. So we're gonna... See, this is where you wanna get good at cutting up their eyes, because if you did this, then it kind of is cool, right? She could look like a, um, like some kind of monster lady, but I don't like monster ladies. And we'll have to decide whether we want them to be real eyes or sad eyes. Okay, so there's real eyes. Oh, I kind of love that. Okay, we're gonna do something fun with this one. We're gonna come down from the top and do her eyelashes over to her eye. 
Because this is that one that, that it, it was cut like right, like we didn't have a choice about this one. This was in that bar. Now I don't want to lose her upper eyelid because that would make it hard to do my eye thing, but that's going to be fine. We're going to make her with, we're going to do her eyes. I'm going to show you all how to do all the eyes. Don't worry, don't fret. Or at least how I do all my different eyes, which is what I tried to cut these girls out with so you could see all the different ways I do my eyes. And then right around this part. Okay. There we go. So she's got weird eyes. Now, I could maybe have cut her. I left her not cut out because I didn't know what I was going to do with her hat. But I'm going to put you on pause for just the weirdest minute and get her cut out, cut out. Because I am going to use her hat. Okay, now when I get over to her neck, I want to leave her neck. I want to take the dark part of her neck off. But I want to leave her neck, at least some of it, because that's how I stick her to my paper doll. And I'm not super careful when I cut because nobody's going to notice if the hat is cut out nicely. When she, and I outline it and, and shade it and do all this stuff. Think about it. Nobody's going to notice it. This lady's going to have two giant eyeballs. So they're not going to notice my cutting and go, oh... I don't think she cut out that hat very well. It's just not going to be a thing. All right, now we need to cut out this girl, and I will be right back. So we've got our big head out, and I cut down into her neck area. So we're going to just stick this girl on here. And you can glue either side of it. I don't really pay much attention to which side I glue. Kind of try to get it in the middle beneath her mouth so it's somewhat centered, but I don't need it to be totally centered. Um, and then we're going to do her eyeballs. I don't think I want to make her sad eyes. Sad eyes are more the big square eyes. These are just going to be weird, um, like, like as if she's a alien eye. So we're gonna put them kind of where her eyes would go. There we go, there's one. I guess they're still a little sad. I always tip them down. That's gonna be fun because that's gonna come off the edge of her hat. Very cute. Okay, so we're gonna put her to the side. We're gonna get Sophia back. Now we need to cut off her neck so that it looks like a real neck, right? So we're gonna come along here where we cut really carefully along here. We're gonna come in here. She has a weensy bit of a collar there to come up here. We wanna go right under her chin, which this is a little shadowy, so we have to kind of pick which part we want. And then I even think I wanna come in here a teeny bit and come up here and now her neck is perfectly sized to her giant head so that helps to to do the you know the fantasy of it because now it looks like that could be her neck at a very weird angle okay so Sophia's done we're gonna put her off to a further side Let's do this girl next. So we're gonna do her head on this girl's body. So we're gonna cut this off at these little flowery bits. We could go down into the bottom, but, but then you have to worry about how wide is your neck, how much do you wanna fuss with it, and we just don't wanna do that. So she's gonna be very prim and proper. We're gonna put her like kind of right where her neck would be. So we gotta do this guy. So we'll do the top of this. So we know that gets stuck down and then we'll just do this whole back of her neck. These poor people did not get modeling careers to be my big head girls. All right, do we wanna 
tiny bit more neck. Let's do a tiny bit more neck so she looks like she has a neck. That's probably enough. Okay. Now, okay, so we could do this girl's, I feel like this girl's eyes aren't that much bigger. She just has really super wide eyes. So let's see what we can do with her because we want to do all different kinds of things. So let's cut down her eyes and see what happens. Maybe we just leave her eyes as is and put them on, because you may want to just do it more simply than I do. Okay, so if we're going to do that, which we can, I would take off some more of this side. I feel like we have a lot of white over here. Okay, then I got to get closer to this eyebrow that I just hacked off, right? That's fine. And we're going to line up her nose, and then that would be her, like she would just have big wide eyes. And for her, we would probably use some of this stuff and make this the top of her eyes so it doesn't seem so weird that she doesn't have. So I'd probably put, oops. I'd probably put these two under and, oh, maybe I'd do it the opposite. Maybe we'll do, all right, let's get her eye down and then we can figure out the rest. Okay. So we're gonna just glue these straight on and you can do that, it's fun too. You don't have to be so fancy pantsy, right? Get her eyes on here, lined up with her nose. Just like that, beautiful. Let's try not to stick her to the bottom. She's not stuck, okay? And then I just had these couple few things that looked cute that we can start to build. We're just gonna do a little bit, tiny bit on the bottom so we leave them open in case we wanna put more stuff up there on her head but I'm gonna keep that line of her eyes straight. So put that there, this here. That one won't go in, but we'll just put that right there for her. We'll do this little bit of thing right here. And look how cute her head looks. She looks adorable. Okay, so we're gonna take her over here and we need to do this girl's neck. So we're gonna do exactly the same thing. I'm gonna cut right here along her shirt line pretty carefully, more carefully than I do most things. Because this is what to me really sells the big head girls is that they look like they could, like you go, but they could, they, they match perfectly. Okay, and then we're gonna go right along her chin line. And I don't tell you too often stuff that you have to have, but I feel like in this video, I'm gonna have two, maybe three things. I feel like if you're gonna be doing the big eyed girls, you probably need snips. And I have found, honestly, that the Tim Holtz are the best. I have Heidi Swap snips, I have blue snips, I have bumblebee snips. I have all kinds of snips, but these tonic ones from Tim Holtz, uh, one of the things about them is they're like a teeny bit serrated, and they so they go while you cut, but it really helps you get these precision. Okay, so if you look at this, you can tell that that's not quite right, and that's what used to happen to me before I would do them the way I do them is I would cut them and they wouldn't be quite right and so they're not realistic. So we have to come up in here even a teeny bit more by her collar and then I can still go out that way. But now her neck perfectly matches her body and I'm happy with her. I will probably wind up cutting out those um, inserts but that would make her a little bit weaker for hanging around the craft room. All right. Now let's go work on Rosie the Riveter. This is probably gonna have to go in my, um, 
in my taller journal, which is find my painted journal, because she is gonna be quite large. So there's her neck area. And I think it really comes to, I'm gonna have it come to this point. So let's go ahead and glue down this part. And there's a little bit of weird tool going on, but that's fine, nobody will notice. We can color it if we want, but it's a giant headed Rosie the Riveter. Um, with one eye, nobody's gonna pay attention to it. Okay, so for my one-eyed girls, I think we're gonna do like we did for um, the other gal. We're gonna come right along the edge of this makeup. I wanna keep that, that eyelid because the big eyelid is what I use to make the second, um, to make their eyes super big. So I'm gonna come along here and I'm just kind of coming along where her natural dark part of her um, face is actually. All right, look at how beautiful her eye is. All right, I feel like now that I cut this out and I'm looking at it, I could take a whole bunch off of this end. I don't need all her skin down here to mess me up later. Do I want to go, I think I actually want to go along this lower lash shadow. I don't want to have to worry about matching skin tones down here. And this is why you wanna start small with your cuts. So you, um, you cut and you look and you cut, oh, that's great. Okay, I want a tiny bit more over here off this end. Oh, you have such a beautiful eye. Rosie with your beautiful eye. And I love that. So now we're gonna stick her eye down. She is gonna be by far the easiest one to show you how I do my tricks, cause she's giant, right? So I want a, I want her iris, like I don't want it to be, if I did it right over her nose, her eye would be not quite set in her head, but I did cheat it a little bit. I have a little bit more eye on this side than I do on that side, um, but we'll be back to her. We got to do this lady's neck. And then we'll do Rosie's neck, and then we'll have to come back in a little bit after I empty my camera of this film. You don't know all my troubles. These videos take up a lot of disk space. And so on my phone, when we do a long video like this, it's best if I take it off. All right, let's see how we like this because I may have to go a little bit in. Oh yeah, I have to go in, right? Because this one is a little bit in on those flowers. All right, this should look a lot better. That looks a lot better. I almost want to go. I'm not going to go a little bit more. I think it's fine. And you can get their necks to be too skinny and I don't like that. So she's done. All right, let's do Rosie's neck and we shall be done. So I'm gonna come up to kind of this point. There seems like a natural break where I could make that turn for her neck. Oh, that looks good. Okay, so hers looks good. All right, so we are done for right now. Hold on, I'll bring them all back to you so you can see them all together, all the girls. So we have one-eyed Rosie, we have Sophia with her sad eyes, that's another way I do them. We have the uh, lady with the um, alien eyes, and then we have the easy eyes. Don't worry, I'm not dumping you. I'll be back after a bit and we will color the eyes. So here comes the big part of how, sorry I'm wiggling you for a sec. 
um, how I make the eyes. So let's do this in kind of, let's do these eyes first, because they're the, uh, let's do the easiest eyes first. So if you're just doing your, got your nice little eyes, okay? And I'm gonna try to make it so you can see it. So what I wanna do is I wanna make her colored part of her eyes even bigger, right? So I'm gonna make them go out like this and maybe out like this and I kinda go up to the next layer of her eyelashes. And then I come over here to the normal edge. I don't make that edge any bigger. And then I color it in with white. And I am using a white Posca pen. This is a white paint pen. It is PC1MR. There's another kind that is like a, like a plastic tip. I don't like that one as much. I like PCRM1. Now let's talk about how eyes are really made. So in real eyes, the whites only go down to here, right? See that? And then there's that thingy. I take my whites all the way down to the edge. They are not anatomically correct. So you can choose to leave that there or not leave that there. I'm hoping you can see this a little bit. I'll try to get my hand out of the way. Okay, so now I have one big eye and one little eye, right? So now we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go a little bit outside. Let's see if we do it upside down, if it's easier to see. We're gonna go a little outside the circle of her eye, go up to her next eyelid, fill this in with white. And usually I'll do this and then I'll come back and I'll go over it again because I like their eyes to be nice and white. So we're gonna come up a little extra. And don't forget, anything that you mess up, because um, paint is opaque, if you mess up the, the insides or the outsides, you just go over it with paint again. Okay, so now we have the white parts done on her. Now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna use a different color of Posca paint pen. So I use, I tend to use colors of eyes that are real-ish. Um, so I have blue, I have green, I have a light green, I have brown. Where's my brown? My brown may be a big one. Nope, here's my brown. See, this is the other tip that I was talking about that's like a hard tip. I don't like that as well as I like this soft tip, especially for the eyes. Um, so I probably won't use this. I must use, oh, here it is. So I use this, so this is a little bit bigger tip. Look at how the difference is. So I'm fine with coloring eyes with this little bit bigger tip, but for detail work and their eyelashes, I use these skinny ones, okay? So now let's make her purple eyes to go with her pink sweater. So first thing we wanna do is we wanna go across that top eyelid, right? Come down here, what's all bumpy underneath her? For some odd reason, I have a bunch of seed beads on my desktop. All right, come down here. We're gonna make this bottom circle round. And I know that's not how eyes mostly are either. See, mostly the eye goes underneath that bottom lid, but I don't do that. I just give them weird looking round eyes. So I'm gonna color this in, and now you see most of her eyelashes are gone, right? Because we went over her top eyelid. Okay, so now she has big purple, one big purple eye, and now she's gonna have another big purple eye. Probably need to go up a little bit more because I need that to have that arch. And then I'm just gonna color that in. Okay, so she is started. We're gonna put her away and come back to another girl. So I wanna to talk to you about how human eyes are and how cat eyes are. I don't have a picture of a cat or I would show you. Um, human eyes have the pupil right in the middle of the eyes, right? So that's the way normal eyes are. Um, 
I don't make normal eyes. I make weird big eyes. So I just want you to notice that. All these, well, this is a little bit higher. See how it kind of goes up and it's touching the bottom of it? I tend to make those, which is how cats are. Most of cats' pupils are underneath the top. This is a really good one to see. So if you want to make realistic looking eyes, make it higher than the middle, like almost starting in the middle and not quite hitting the top eyelid. But I like to make them that look like cat's eyes. I'll show you in a minute. All right, so now we're gonna take and we're gonna go a little bit outside her blue eye. But I don't like how like freaky weird her eyes are open. So let's go a little bit outside over here and we're gonna make her an eye spot. So I'm actually making her a spot to put her eye color in. And I'm gonna come down here and do this. And on her, I'm gonna keep her top lashes because I quite like them. She already has weird white eyes, but we're gonna make them look normal for me. So that's gonna come down there. Maybe we need a little bit more and then just fill in this spot. This was a weird cutout because this was that one that didn't have, um, she just had a weird eye thing going on anyways, but I've seen her a million times and I've kind of thought of using her a lot, so I'm glad we're trying her. We're gonna figure her out because she's, if we can get it to where her eyes look cool, we can use her a lot. All right, again, I'm going all the way in here. That's not how eyes really work. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. Come down here. Like this. And then come over here. And part of this is I'm just trying to cover up these lower lashes, which are a little dinky on her. And I don't like that she has bug eyes. I want to make her nice, normal eyes. And what color do you want these eyes to be? You want them to be blue like they are? Do you want it? Let's make them green. Oh, blue will look pretty with her hat. Oh, she's got a little bit of green in her sweater. Let's do them green. Always shake your paint pens, especially if it's not a color you use often. Um, you can check and see if it's working. And then some of them, like this isn't, this isn't putting out paint. This is putting out acrylic ink. So I need to get it primed again so there's actual paint and not just ink. So we need to, uh-oh, we need to get a piece of paper. We'll use cardboard. And then what I will do is I'll just write and try to get the paint into the ink. See how where we started, there's not as much paint. Now we're starting to get some paint. So see, now it's opaque, it's not transparent. And this is a really big tip for doing this kind of work, but don't forget we're just doing an eye. So we don't have to be super precious about it. Boop, boop, boop. There goes her normal eye. Oh, I kind of like it now. And I would say, if you're gonna make weird eyes, to pick a style and then kind of do it that way a lot. I know some collagers can do all kinds of different things. I just make these big eyed girls because my goal isn't to spend my life making eyeballs. It's to do collage. So we're gonna put her over there. All right, let's make our sad eyes. White pen. This one's gonna be easy. See how big her um, her second eyelids are. So I just come here and here and hers won't have a roundy bottom part. Josiah's going to a jumpy place today. What do you call those? Uh, trampoline park. He's very excited. It's kind of his first time out with the gang or going out as a dude by himself. Okay. All right, so there her eye is bigger. 
We're gonna do that again. Easy peasy. This, these are easy. I do. I can do these all day. We'll be here all month. Oh, Sophia has pretty blue eyes. And I always just go to her natural end, which makes her pupils really big, or her um, iris is really big, right? So because I constrain it to the actual size their eyes used to be, it makes the colored part of the eye really big. All right, have we done a blue? No, we haven't done a blue. Let's do a blue. This is a pretty blue. It's pretty dark though. Do I have a lighter blue? I do have a lighter blue. Let's use this lighter blue. Okay. Oh, that's a pretty blue for her eyes. And I can still come in and make that scoopy thing I like. And then, uh-oh, I put my hand in the white. So what I'll do is I will come and paint this and paint this. And we're sure not going to mess with that right now. We're going to let that dry and then we're going to come in and go over it one more time. Like I said, most of the time I do them twice anyways. So here is her beautiful blue eyes. Okay. Now it's time for the exciting eye. Her beautiful eye. We're gonna make her a brown eyed girl. All right. So now, because I am not going to go Let's see, I guess I am gonna go up here. So we're gonna do this, kinda of come around this way. Maybe I'll cheat that end a little bit. There we go. And then we're gonna come up to this other eyelid because that's what we wanna do. We wanna use her natural eyelids as our guides because I'm not a artist, I'm just a collager, and I don't know how eyes really work in the real world, but I can trace a top eyelid like a crazy woman, right? So that's gonna be her big, beautiful eye, and I'm gonna get a bigger white paint pen to color that in, because that could use up a bunch of my little I could use up a lot of my fine line paint pen, right? So this is still not, it's gonna take a minute for the acrylic uh, to get into it, but we can put a first coat on this. And I don't, I just don't question how eyes are. Like I just make it because that's just how eyes are. I'm not trying to be artistic. I just follow the lines of what nature has already intended. And I make it really big. Okay, there we go. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna, cause that's a lot of white paint. We're gonna let that dry. We're gonna try to get some acrylic out in here. For our, oh, there we go. It's becoming more opaque. Okay, so now let's leave her big, beautiful eye. Did we start with this girl or did we start with the normal girl eyes? All right, we're going to go back to this girl. And um, I do think we could touch up a little bit of her white. So I'm just going to come in here and make this line a little straighter. Maybe make that line a little straighter. that a little bit more, but that's about all I'm going to do for that. And now I have to make the back blacks of her eyes. Okay. Ooh, that's not a black. <laughs> that's an embossing pen. That didn't want to help much. All right. I need to make skinny black Posca pen. And I make 
cat's eye pupils. So I'm just making a little U and then I fill it in. And that's her iris. And I don't try to get cute. In the past, I tried to get cute, and then I found out I'm really bad at anything but this. So this is what I do every single time. So now she looks like a droopy-eyed cat girl. We're gonna leave her alone. We're gonna get this girl. We're gonna make her some black pupils. And you make your pupils however you want. I would try them because, like, really, if, if we were going to do it right, remember, the answer is halfway up, and then you would make that a whole circle. But when I made them whole circles, they looked crazy. And when I make them like a half a circle like a cat, I like how they look. It's just about what I like, right? It's just about what you like on your art. I'm not being facetious. This this has to please you, not anybody else. And cat's eye pupils please me. And don't worry if your whites aren't perfect white. None of our whites are perfect white. Okay? While we're doing this, let's come in here and paint her brown eye. So we're gonna follow the top of this. Right? Come down here. Don't it make your brown eyes blue? I'm not sure that's even the tune of that song. I think I'm getting worse at singing. Who knew it was possible? Who was that? Crystal Gale? No. Don't it make your brown eyes blue? Somebody yell it out. You in the back. You tell me who sang Don't It Make Your Brown Eyes Blue. Okay, so we're gonna let that dry. It's tempting to keep going over it right now, but all you'll be doing is wetting the paper and paper doesn't like to be wet, especially super cheap magazine paper like this is. So we don't want to annoy it. We just want to put layers of paint on it and could you do this with a paintbrush? Absolutely. If you're a good painter, you could totally do this with a paintbrush. You don't need a paint pen. You could just get a little skinny pointy paintbrush and some cheap acrylic paint at Michael's and paint it yourself. I just don't know that I'm the world's best painter. Oops, I went out of the line, but that'll be fine because I'm going to come in and do bottom eyeliner. So don't don't feel like you have to do their eyes perfectly because we're going to come in and clean them up. Sophia! We're doing Sophia's eye. Oh, we messed up her white. Let's give her white eye back. Now we're going to make her black part. I could maybe go over her um, blue again, but I don't worry about it because I come in and I color them again anyways. I'm just trying to get kind of a, a base color of blue in there. All right, she's a little droopy looking eye, so you can just move over her, her thing. 
And if you're worrying about getting their eyes the same, nobody's eyes are the same size. No human being's eyes are the same size, except maybe like Angelia Jolie or somebody like that. And that's why we like them so well, because they're, they're um, balanced, right? Um, normal people do not have balanced eyes. Okay, let's take this one, and now we're going to finish her up. So, I like to go around the outside of the green part with a black outline to outline it wherever it is. I don't worry about where it is. I just go around and make a black outline. And then I like to make a bottom mascara line. This one's going to be a little fat, but that's okay. We're going to cheat it a little bit. A bottom mascara line, because I'm a girl of the 80s, and we had a bottom mascara line that would, you could drive a truck on it. Okay, there we go. So we're just cleaning up her. Any messes we've made, anything like that? We can clean up. See how there's a little bit of weirdness with that? We're just going to come over here, make some fat mascara lines. Okay, good. Now, you can make the choice. I, um, I do usually a big eyelash in the middle. They go right up. And then all these ones over here go over. See how they're going over like that? And you can just follow, if they have eyelashes there already, you can just follow their eyelashes. I like to make them nice big eyelashes and then a big old cat's eye at the end. And then usually I'll do one or two over here, not too many, and I try to make them a little skinnier. So, it took me a very long time to figure this out. So, if you can't figure this out super fast, don't get sad. So, big one in the middle. Skinny one going this way. Skinny one going this way. Bigger swoopy. Bigger swoopy. Bigger swoopy. Bigger swoopy. Cat's eye. See? And that's how I do it. Now on this girl, this girl's awesome because she has other eyelashes in there. So she looks very fancy. Now on the bottom, I do the same thing, just smaller. Middle, a little bit this way, a little bit this way. Bigger, bigger, coming out here, coming out here. Maybe fill in a titch. And she is almost done. I like a nice eyelash. I was glad when I figured out how to do these eyelashes. I don't do fancy other eyelashes. I've tried. I'm not very good at them. They make my eyeballs look funny. And then I just do this kind. Okay, oops, you couldn't see it, but there's a little white place in there. Okay, now to finish, finish, I use pit brush pens. So these are India ink brush pens, Faber-Castell pit artist brush pens. Now, I tried using acrylic ink pens, but acrylic ink, or uh, alcohol ink pens. But alcohol ink pens will melt my acrylic paint that's in the paint pens. So if you can only afford acrylic or um, alcohol ink pens, then for sure try them, because I know these are a bit pricey. But I would say that, that these pens are probably my favorite thing I have for shading and stuff like that. So if you can afford them, get them. If you can't, don't worry. Okay, and I'm just going to blend this out a little bit. And it's going to pull a little bit of that ink, but eventually it'll be um, permanent. 
So if your ink moves around, don't be nervous. It's a good thing. And I always do a bit of dark in the top and then come down here and then maybe fill this in a little bit. And that will blend itself as it sits there. I'll come back and I'll show you. Okay, purple girl. Oh, we have to do all her eyelashes, right? So the first thing I'm gonna do with her is turn her the way it's easy for me to do it. And I'm gonna give her top mascara and a cat's eye and bottom mascara right up to that cat's eye. I always do a cat's eye. You may not need a cat's eye. Okay, coming over here. Coming over here, out to a cat's eye. If you don't know what a cat's eye is, it's, um, it's like a makeup term where it looks like cat's eyes at the end. Okay, so we have her. Now we have to outline her eyeballs. Okay, and I feel like we're missing like a titch of white in there. And I feel like I got a little too aggressive with the black coming in this way. So I'm gonna do this, right? And then don't forget, paint is opaque. So if we come back in, With purple, I can cover that right up. Okay. So now we're gonna make her eyelashes. So straight up in the middle, little, little, swoopy, 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 cat's eye. That's what I do, right there. You can fill them in a little bit if you want. That can look nice. Something else I do, I'll tell you about it in a second. So, one big one. That's a very big one. Ooh, let's make that one bigger. Cool. She had a little uh, mascara problem today. Swoop. 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 Cat's eye. Okay, and then maybe we just do a little one on her on the bottom. She's pretty demure. We don't want her to have too crazy eyes. Boop. So she doesn't have the one in the middle going out. She just has four eyelashes just for something on the bottom. So it doesn't look so weird. Maybe fill it out a little bit. Okay, maybe fill a couple wispies. And then sometimes what I do is I take my black brush pen and I go up here and I give her eyeshadow. Just like a little black eyeshadow or I'll come and do a a titch of liner down here in the corner. Just to kind of blend it in like you do on Real Eyes. And then what I will do a lot of times is I only do one kind of eyebrow too. I don't always do their eyebrows, but when I do their eyebrows, I do angry eyebrows or cross eyebrows. So I do straight, 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 down, 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 over. So you're gonna see how I took this super sweet looking girl and made her look cross. <laughs> now she's got her things, right? So, so you can do cuter eyebrows if you make them less um, angular, like just roundies then they won't look so cross. 
I like an angry eyebrow. And there are lots of people who do eyebrows. They do all kinds of cool stuff. There's people that do lots of cool stuff with um, their uh, eyelashes. I know Diane Reevely does a really cool thing with her eyelashes where she brings each one down and she puts a ball at the end of it. I think that's cute, but this is what I do. Okay, Sophia. All right. I'm going to whip through here because you've seen it, but I'll show it to you again. Top, eye, top eyeliner. Bottom eyeliner. Top eyeliner. Oh, I forgot to paint her iris or her um, colored parts. Okay, we're gonna make her big eye eyelashes. Cat's eye. I may not do her ones that go this way. maybe a little thicker than the ones I've done up to date. Sometimes they're a little thicker. Cat's eye. Okay, and I guess I have to say cat's eye when I get to the end. Usually it's just in my head real quiet and you can't hear it, but when I do this many of them, obviously it comes out. Okay, I think she looks weird without these ones, so we're going to make these ones at least a little bit. We're going to make our bottom ones. Just little sneaky ones because we want Sophia to have pretty eyelashes. Don't we? Yes, we do. Straight down. Over, 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 over. Let's do a few wispies. Do a few wispies in the top. Okay. Oh, we got to outline her eyeballs. I am going to do, she's a strong Italian woman. She has some bottom eyeliner and some top eyeliner. So she's going to have dark eyes. Usually I'll do, I'll probably do her lips when I get there. And now we need to color her blue eyes blue. Okay, so we're going to do darker on the top, up in here. And then we're going to do lighter and pull that color down, right? Because we want it to move around. And sometimes it did. It took a little bit of that paint off in her eyes. But to me, that just makes it look more like real eyes. And some people ask me all the time... why I don't put a dot in their eyes. So there you go. We gotta do our purple girl. <laughs> so you always put the dots in the same place. Where am I gonna put the dot for my one-eyed girl? <laughs> Get it? She gets, never mind. 
I like my one-eyed girl. Don't be judgy. Okay, so we're gonna do purple and pink this time. So we're gonna do purple up here, purple up here, and then we're gonna use the pink. Ooh, that might be a dark pink. Too dark a pink. That's my latest pink. Well, it's the pink we're gonna use. Then we're gonna kind of pull this down into here and pull this down into here. Look how pretty her eyes are. So cute. And I think the I think the light, the dot, white dot makes a difference. It's very cute. I'll have to start remembering to do that. Okay, last one. All right, I feel like we need to do one more set of brown on here just to get her a brown eye. And while we're doing, while we're waiting for this to dry, we'll do her eyelashes because we got plenty of room for that. All right, let's do a little bit more on her white too because you can really see where um, that dark transition is between where her top lid was and what we're doing now. It's pretty glaring. You won't notice it when you're looking at it. I promise you. I know you think you will, but when you're looking at a big, huge picture of Rosie the Riveter with one eye, nobody's going to be looking at her eye and going, I don't know, I think that there's a weird transition in there. They're just not. Um, okay, so we're going to do a, oh, that isn't what I wanted. This is what I wanted. Okay, so we're going to do a big cat's eye on her. Whoop. There we go. Big, huge cat's eye. And we might be able to use a bigger pen to make her top. mascara liner, eyeliner, but we're gonna go with this one. I'm sorry if my head's in the way. She has a giant eyeball. Okay, so now we're gonna do that same thing. We're gonna come down here and do this over here and do this because it doesn't matter if it's a big eyeball or a little eyeball eyelashes work the same everywhere all right let's do a couple this way all right and see how her other eyelashes are looking weird what I'm going to do is this. And just kind of give her a big, deep. Uh, you know what? We might come in and do some more. Like lengthen them beyond there. Like this. Just so you know, there's eyelashes there. Nobody's gonna know it but you. Nobody cares about your giant one eyeball lady's eyelashes, except you. Okay, so now we're gonna make her a big middle one. So now we have two that go this way. So one, these are going to be thicker because this is such a big eye, right? So two going this way. Hey, Kitty, what's up? Okay. And I probably will not do the wispy ones on this because that, that is not usually my jam. So there's big one. I might do a couple shorter ones in between, but for something like this, I want a little bit more control than the wispies give you. Okay. 
I've been pretty loosey-goosey thus far with my eyelashes, right? And you're like, now you get all? Well, if you screw up a giant eyeball eyelash, it's kind of noticeable, right? Okay, so we'll kind of go teeny bit this way and a teeny bit this way. Maybe a little one in there. Maybe a little bit shorter one in there. Yeah, I'm liking this. Maybe I could get two of them in here. There we go. Okay. And for sure, I want to do my top eyeliner trick. Especially to cover up that, whatever that white stuff is. This will blend in. It'll be fine. We have to wait and see if we need to make her eyelashes bigger. I'm thinking I might, huh? All right, let's just go a little bit bigger on every one. Maybe do in between one here. Whoop. Whoop. And obviously that is the eyelash noise. Whoop. Whoop, there she is. Kitty's yelling at Johnny now. You can't really see these ones over here, but I do them anyways, okay? And now we need to make her pupil. And I just make it the same way I always do, just bigger. We'll see how we like it, but I do have some brown and some caramely color. I love that caramel color. Where's the caramel color? Oh, that might be it. So we're gonna do brown up here. that and then we're gonna come down here and blend oh that is the caramel color I love blend this in and I might want to do the caramel color all over because I really really like it but we're gonna see first We're going to do that. It's just a really pretty color for your eye. Okay. And that is it. We're done. Okay. Give me one sec. Oh, shoot. <laughs> We got to do our big old white of her eye. There we go. All right, so we got this girl. We got this girl. I think it went. Maybe that way? I don't know. But there's all my girls with their new big eyes, and I think they look super cute. 
And hopefully that helps. I'll have all the list of, um, I was going to say ingredients, the list of ingredients below, but the list of products that I use to do this below so that you can make your own big eyed girls. Hopefully that helps. Tara Jacobson, Artsy Fartsy Life.